I just got my first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. And I already feel relieved because I'm doing my part to stop the spread of this terrible disease. And I'm also beginning to feel liberated for myself. But some people seem to be more skeptical than I am, questioning the efficacy of the vaccine itself. Could they perhaps have a point? I don't think so. This is GMF Compact. So here are the top five reasons why COVID-19 anti-vaxxers are in the wrong. Number one, the vaccine was developed so fast, I don't trust it. Look, there's a huge, huge demand for a COVID-19 vaccine. Pharmaceutical companies would be foolish not to race to the front line. And the only way they could accomplish that in this instance was by doing it together. They shared their ideas and even their patents to develop vaccines at such an incredible speed. And let's not forget here, like other businesses too, Big Pharma is also trying to make sure it has a future it can build on. Number two, who knows what's really in it? You eat sausages and you don't know what's in that. You take pills that your doctor prescribes without understanding the mechanisms behind those. Do you actually know what goes into producing artificial materials like polyester or viscose? But you still wear them. The science behind mRNA vaccines has actually been studied for decades now. Therefore, this actually is not a novel method of vaccination. It's just its first application because, thanks to modern medicine, it's the first time we've needed to resort to using this scientific method on such a mass scale. Number three, it will alter my DNA irreparably. Okay, let's clear this up once and for all. Messenger ribonucleic acid, or mRNA, is a compound that instructs your body to make certain proteins to protect yourself against an immune attack. It cannot alter your DNA because it doesn't penetrate the part of your cells where your DNA is actually stored, the nucleus. But do you know what actually will affect your DNA? <laughs> Alcohol, sugar, and even psychological trauma. Number four, they want to microchip us. Who is they? And do you think that if whoever they might be wanted to microchip you, they would need a pandemic for that? Why not just put those microchips in the water or in the COVID itself? And what about the actual microchips in your mobile phones? They record whatever you're doing, when you're doing it, where and with whom. The companies that produce these phones and the makers of the apps that you possibly use know more about you than you do yourself. But you're worried about microchips hidden in your vaccine. Hmm. Number five, people have died from the vaccine. Look, this is how vaccines work. They lower the likelihood of us getting a communicable disease. They don't fully eliminate such diseases. And with the majority of the COVID-19 vaccinations requiring at least two courses to work three weeks apart, that means that in each instance, there's at least another three week period to contract the disease itself. It's as simple as that. Now, please look at the odds. Could some mysterious global secret society really be choreographing mass extinction through vaccines? Or do some people out there simply want to create sensationalist clickbait to make money via the related ad revenue. Which one of those scenarios sounds more likely to you? The truth is often complicated, but usually it is rather related to science than science fiction. And above all, the truth is always out there.